Welcome back. Well, we have Jeff Parker here today, and uh, we have some COVID numbers to talk about, and not to scare anybody, but we certainly do need to have the discussion because across the United States, we're hearing things are not looking so good out there. But we're still looking okay here in Laguna Woods. Yeah, there's, there, there's two things that are happening. One is that we're seeing the COVID-19s grow everywhere in the United States, including California. And in the last few days, we've seen some pretty big movements upward. Mm -hmm. However, what we're gonna show you on the screen is, first of all, what we just talked about, 295 cases, so up pretty high, six unfortunate deaths in, in the community. Um, in Orange County. Again, two in a skilled nursing, one in assisted living, and then uh, three in the normal housing. But on this chart, the most important thing to note is the 251 hospitalizations and the 89 ICUs. When we talked last week, we were at 177 people in the hospital mm. and our, our 60 in the ICU. So we're, we've gone up 29 people in ICU and gone from 177 to 251, almost 100 additional people mm -hmm. in the hospital. Mm -hmm. That's the real threat and concern that the health experts are worried about because one, you get people are flu season, people yeah. have other issues, they need to go to the hospital, and are we gonna get back to, you know, back in July and June where we had you know, 700 people in the hospital, well then that was starting to impact our capacity. Right. And so that's really the big concern now is this hospitalization growth rate. So we've got to be careful about that. And for our residents here in the village, last week we talked about 77 people having our cases and eight deaths. But for the, the, the community of Laguna Woods, again, the city, not just the village, we're now up to 86 mm -hmm. and nine, unfortunately, um, deaths. So again, we're seeing percentage-wise that same big kind of growth that's occurring right now. And it, you know, it goes back to precaution, precaution, precaution. Um, and there's only so much you can do. I mean, but that, you know, making sure that you're washing your hands, making sure that you're wearing masks. And I wanted to mention, there's a report that's in the COVID-19 California government, that, which is the website that you mentioned. And it's a great piece of information about how to wear your mask. Okay. Um, and you know, you and I talk about it in that you gotta cover your nose, you gotta cover your mouth. And the other night I was, uh, happened to be out and ran into a couple of people and they were wearing their mask you know, below their nose. Yeah. And, and that's not going to protect anybody. Um, mm -hmm. And that, that's something that people really need to take a look at this um, report. It does a really good job of saying when and where you should be wearing masks, which is basically anytime you're outdoors, anytime you're in, indoors, clearly, and if you can't social distance. Right. Um, and that, so that social distance is, is really important too because what they know right now is if, if you can, can stay more than six feet, then that spread seems to dissipate. So that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. um, but it is clearly that um, wearing that mask is so important and, and obviously washing your hands and, right. and keeping as clean as you possibly can. Right. So uh, I would recommend people going on that site. Now I wanted to go to the second here, here, and we see um, the other day when we were talking, we were at six on the uh, adjusted daily case rate. So we've actually gone down to 5.6. Right. This is the seven day average. So back last week when we were talking about 177 cases, well, there's that 5.6. It was uh, leveling so, yeah. out. Yeah. So next week when we get this seven average, seven day average, we're going to see that day was 500, right. 250. I suspect it's going back, back up, up yeah. um, and we want to obviously for business sake and safety sake stay in this orange category. We don't want to go back into the purple yeah. because that means then more things are going to have to shut down, which is like what has happened in San Diego County now, LA County, every county around us right now is back in the purple, Gosh. which means they're shutting down. So that's fortunate that we're not there right. yet, right. Um, but certainly something that we need to be very, very cognizant of. The other thing that's in this report that I think is real important that people read is uh, there's been a lot of discussion here in the village as well as outside is when and can you have gatherings? What kind of gatherings? Mm -hmm. um, and the importance of that is Thanksgiving is only a couple of weeks away. Right. And we know that people are gonna be traveling and they're gonna have gatherings. And so the, the key for the COVID-19 and the CDC is talking about limiting the gatherings if you can. Um, 
not having multiple families at a gathering. If you have your own fat family and you kind of know the um, who's healthy and who's not and who's been tested and who's not, that's okay. But when you get into bigger groups, um, that, that's right. where you can have a serious challenge. Right. So that's going to be um, the big, uh, big news, I think, is how, how well we do getting through that holiday period. Yeah. Uh, we were talking earlier this morning about how the colleges are saying kids need to get tested before they go home right. um, and get on that plane and get tested. And I know that um, that's going to be important, too, because you don't want to have a young person who has it and is asymptomatic and goes home and gives it to somebody who's more at risk. Yes. That, that's the danger. So um, again, I can just highly recommend people wear their masks pretty much everywhere they can um, uh, and wash your hands and sanitize as much as possible. And I think if we do that, we can at least keep this thing from growing up exponentially out of control. Right, and, and when you talk about <clears throat> testing and, you know, you can get tested at any time. I mean, if you feel like you would like to know whether or not you have COVID-19 or anyone in your family that would be visiting, you can certainly go. If you go to that website, the ochealthinfo.com, there is a click there where you can see where the testing is for COVID-19. I'm sure they don't necessarily say, man, if you just run out and do it, you, want, you really want to have more symptoms, However, it is an option it is. for people to do that. So if that makes you feel more comfortable, you certainly can do that. And, and now you're starting to see um, airlines and travel places where they're, they're actually expediting tests before you get on a plane wow. and everything like that. So I think that's great for, for people that are traveling or going to travel. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's um, a really good idea that if you can get tested, um, then you know for sure you have a comfort level exactly. um, that, that you're not at least the problem in the sense of spreading. Right. Um, I think that is an excellent idea. And like you said, there's a lot of sites that you can go to and check with your local physician mm -hmm. um, is another way and they can um, give you that advice. I know I, I was, um, um, I have a situation with a significant other who had to get tested because of their work environment. Yeah. So I decided I'd go get tested just so that we'd know. And yes. getting the results that you kind of wait, but in, in the sense that once you get it and know that you're tested uh, negatively, that you don't have it, then that, there's that sigh of relief too. Right. And so you bring that back home and, and people can be more secure in their environment. Exactly. And then let's just go ahead and give everybody those resources again, where you can go to covid19.ca.gov. And of course, that's where the governor has all of his information. And then ochealthinfo.com is the one that we pull up on a regular basis, giving you all the numbers that we give you, plus the mask <clears throat> information. There's, it, it really is a great website. I, I go probably daily and just look up right. to see what some of the information is. Of course, we, we rely on you sure. to give us the numbers and the breakdown, but everything else, I mean, it's like the testing and everything is there. So good, good resources and good information. Thank you. Yeah, and I really appreciate, again, to, to the community here, I think we've done an outstanding job. I think that the community has really grown to understand the importance of it. Um, and I think our, even though I've, we're seeing some numbers go up um, in relative terms, I think yeah. we're, we're doing still pretty well in the village. So keep your diligence up and, and keep wearing your mask and okay. I think we'll do okay. Well, good. Well, by Monday, we, we hope that the numbers haven't increased. Let's hope so. Let's, Let's hope so. Everybody, everybody do your job <clears throat> like you've been doing. So, all right, good. Thank you. Have a good weekend. Thank you. And remember, when uh, we come back, we are going to meet a new member of the United Board, so stay tuned.